Kelly, let's watch our wedding video. That was such a special day. I really love you and I really enjoyed marrying you, you know? I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Hi, my name is Felicity Cadillac Rossi and I'm married to my love, Kelly the Zombie Doll. When I was 10, I found Kelly on a creepycollection.com site and I had to have her and my dad said if I get good grades in school, he'll let me have her. And by the time I was 13, Kelly was mine. I chose a zombie doll because I love zombies. Her look may bother people, but she doesn't bother me. Just because she's a zombie doll doesn't mean she's evil. This is just how I chose her. I like and love zombies. I think they're cool. That doesn't mean that I'm attracted to dead people. It just means I love dolls and I just happen to like the horror dolls. <laughs> I like to go shopping with Kelly and buy outfits for her because it's fun and it actually helps me with my depression. I always wondered how she'd look in a hat. Probably not too good. <laughs> I have a lot of different clothes for her and like it's just fun to just take care of her. It's, it's nice. These are the type of clothes that I like to get Kelly for dressy and shirts like this because, I don't know, she likes stuff like that. Like, tomboy, she's a tomboy. When I'm talking about Kelly, I'm speaking from my heart. Some people think it's a big joke and it's not to me. You know, she's who I love. And we even have matching necklaces, rings, and tattoos. I like to go out to eat with Kelly, especially at the Chinese restaurant because I like shrimp and she likes broccoli. <laughs> Kelly, do you want to taste my broccoli? It's good. I like it too. She likes the sauce. It's always nice taking Kelly out for a bite to eat, but sometimes I get a little nervous because of what people might say. When I think of Kelly, I think of her as a person and some people don't think of her that way, so they don't treat her that way. And I'm tired of people bullying us and saying bad things and mean things. And you know, everybody says don't bully until it's something that they don't like or they don't understand. And people fear what they don't understand. I'm not a bad person with my love for Kelly and I'm not a pedophile and I'm not, I'm not an evil person and I'm not possessed and I'm and she's not possessed and I'm not gonna stop loving who I love or to society what I love because of an opinion. I'll always be married to Kelly and I, I don't think it'll ever be a day. It could change, but I don't think it will. I wanted to do a full blown wedding because I wanted to show my love to her in that kind of way. Like, hey Kelly, you know, I love you and I just wanted to have a little, and it was around my birthday, around our birthday, so we, it was like a little birthday party, but it was a really beautiful day. I had a really beautiful dress. I felt like a real woman and like, and then Kelly had was dressed really nicely and it felt really, really nice and today I'll never forget. I like doing this because like sticking her hair in my ear because it makes me feel relaxed. I used to do it to my dad's big bushy beard when I was a kid. My dad recently passed away and he meant and means a lot to me because, you know, even though he didn't really understand me like all the way, you know, he still accepted me and he tried so hard to be a good dad and, you know, I just miss him. Childhood was okay, but then as I got to be teenager, 15 and up, it got really difficult because I found my birth family. I wanted to have a relationship with my birth father because he was a lot younger and I knew my father, Charles, who adopted me, wasn't gonna last that long. I, he was old, he was older, he was getting sicker. And when I tried to be with my birth father, you know, he ended up hanging himself and I saw him brain dead on life support and everything else like that. I tried to be with my with, with, with my birth mom and I, she was talking to me and she, she said, when I get out of prison, just because I get out of prison doesn't mean that I drop, me and, me and your father just gonna drop everything um, just because you're around and I don't, and that just hurt my feeling. And then it just seems like family can really be tough, you know? 
Kelly was there with me through all of it, and that's why our bond got stronger. And I, I just think that as, as time went on, I just started like, treating the dolls more like people. These are my other partners, and no, they're not children. She's 38, he's 37, and she's 39. Zoe is has a British accent. She's from, as what I feel, she's from London, England, and she um, is very intelligent, very witty. He's all happy and fun. He kind of reminds me of Ted the Bear. And then like Courtney's like badass, like speak your mind, be cool. And yes, I am romantic with with all of them, but mainly it's usually Kelly, 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 Kelly. I go through little phases like a Courtney, 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 or Tommy, Tommy, Zoe, Zoe. Sometimes it feels like I'm actually really falling in love all over again, but I know I always keep going back to Kelly. And it's like, I just love Kelly. She's short, but who cares? There are people out there who have dysfunctions where they look like children, but they're really not. You know what I mean? I've seen it, and everybody just keeps calling me a pedophile, and I'm not. I would never do something like that. Whether my past was good or bad, or whatever mixed together, I, even my life went totally perfect. And I'd still be with Kelly because I noticed that I just draw to inanimate objects like dolls and stuff like that. It's object from sexuality. But I don't really like to consider it that way because my dolls don't look like objects, they look like people. But then again, I'm not attracted to people, so I'm kind of in the middle there. For the people that want to know why, I don't know why because that's just the way I am. When people say I'm mentally ill because of Kelly, no. I'm mentally ill because of people like you and other people who are not nice. Mentally ill meaning bipolar, depression, and anxiety, you know, and stuff like that. But I don't really hear her talk, I just think of the voice and that's what makes me think, you know what I mean? Or I feel a feeling like somebody can feel God or Jesus like talking to them. That's how I feel with my dolls. I don't really hear things and I'm not mentally ill ill when it comes to that but Kelly helps me with my depression and helps me with my anxiety you know but it makes it worse when I take her to the store worrying about what people are going to say and do because people are mean like that that's what makes my mental illness worse people are the reason why my mental illness has been so bad please subscribe to the Wizard of Odd TV